Hello everybody, Donkey here, and yes, we are back with some more Train Sim 2021. And this time, we are on the DLC expansion called Woodhead Electric Railway. And this is the first scenario in this expansion, which is called Commuter Rescue. And it is with this very clean, very nice looking BR class 506 and it is in BR blue small logo livery and uh, yeah it's just looking really really nice really different really quirky and uh, this mission is 20 minutes long it's a green mission and what we've got to do is we've got to go rescue a commuter train that's broken down so let's jump right into it but before we go if you haven't already please consider subscribing down below so that you don't miss any of the content that i bring out all right let's do this all right so this is us inside the cab the briefing a class 506 has failed at guide bridge and we've been asked to rescue it before we end the shift so uh, we've got to, I think this train's already started up. We've got to come over here and there's some switches here. We can actually press L to turn that on. Destination blind light will turn that on. Markers, we'll turn them on. We'll turn all these on. Instrument lights. Okay, so this train is very basic. There's not a lot going on. Panto down. We want it up, I think. Yeah, because we're getting electric from the, uh, the power lines. Which means that there's no sort of turning it on because it, uh, it doesn't have an engine. So we want forward. And I think we want we want this. And if we release, hopefully we start going forward. Here we go. We've got power. So we've got power. Uh, hide road down platform. Okay, and that is just down there. We're going via. Okay. Series. The sounds of this, wow. So yeah, this essentially has no sort of diesel engine. Um, it is getting power from the overhead lines. That's what the panto is, the pantograph on top. And it essentially is like a tube train. It, it gets, it, it, it runs with an electric motor. And you've got, I imagine, three. And I imagine you've got three power settings, um, you know, series, parallel, whatnot. And we can go at different speeds. And uh, that's our brake cylinder down there. But the FOV is really weird on this, uh, on this one. It is, uh, it's really close up to the window, and you can't see any of the controls down below. Here we go, we've actually got a faster line. Speed now. Weak field, I don't know what weak field does. It'll, it'll be due to the resistance on the motors, so... Maybe that's the fastest setting we can go, what weak field. I think that's the fastest. But as you can see, it speeds up so quickly, this. I mean, just look at this thing. It looks so cool. But yeah, it's so close up to the window here. On this one. So 
we've gone via. Okay, so the failed Fairfield. I'm not sure if we're going via there or yeah, I think we are. Couples that have failed and in front of the Brookside sidings is where it is. But no, this is um what's that up there? Oh, something to do with the compressor. But yeah, this is um, the Woodhead Electric Railway, which is it's quite an old expansion pack for train sim. Um, I'm not sure when it came out, but it would have been a very long time ago. And I've just picked it up actually in a sale. The uh, the locos in it seemed interesting, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a go. There's something about the old train sim packs which just there's something different about them, mate. They hit differently. <laughs> they are just a bit better, in my opinion, than but there's just a bit of character behind them. You know, there's just a lot more character, a lot more enjoyment out of the old old packs. Yeah, they visually don't look as great, but I don't know. There's just something about them which which is really good. No, I don't know this route. This is literally the first time me playing it. Literally first, first go on this on this DLC. The first mission. We need to start breaking a little bit because we're coming into a 15 zone. Ah, is that him? Or is that just somebody waiting for us to? Oh, I think he's just waiting. I don't think that's actually the failed unit. Oh, man, that horn. That horn is like something else. So cool. Such a cool train. Double yellow, who's this coming up here now? He hasn't got his lights on, what's he doing? Oh yeah, he's driving around in the dark without any lights. Right, I think this is where the failed unit is. Brookside, yep, coming up in a sec. Down there, so we don't want to go too quick into here <laughs> and then plow into the back of him but it is cold and it is snowing outside look at this it's a cold winter's day in train sim which reminds me if you haven't already seen the uh the last years Christmas Coke deliveries on Eurotruck. Please go have a look. This year we've got something very special. So look out for that if it's not already up on the channel. I think I'll uh, I'll probably post it a little later in, in the month though. In, as it is a Christmas video. I'll post it somewhere near Christmas Day. Alright, so if we start breaking here... just a little bit past it I think but it looks like is that a red light for us I think it is hold on we need to break 
Okay, we've been approved. <laughs> Everything was happening all at once then. We want to be careful here. So apparently he's in the siding. Not quite sure whereabouts, but... and this is him up here. It's hiding behind some wagons by the looks of things. Nice and gently in here. change ends and return to the depot. Okay. So let's release the brakes so we're not just um, dragging them. And we'll put that to neutral. Okay, so we need to change ends now so I'll quickly just do that. Okay, so we've changed the cab ends. Um, let's put the lights on cab light. It's really hard to see these. <laughs> Let's uh, get some of them on. Okay. And if we have a look on the outside, there we go. We probably don't need that red one actually because that's a tail light, but we'll send it. <laughs> okay. So, forward. We've got released. And we can start. pulling him all the way back to the depot. Let's look at this thing. Trying to get a good screenshot. Hopefully we got some good ones there. Right. We're giving it all the beans just to tow this guy along. this place. I'm not sure if we have to pick people up or not. I'm not too sure. It just said it just said go back to the siding or the, um, the depot. So it didn't say anything about stopping. No, it didn't say anything about stopping. Okay. being this close to the window <laughs> is um, is a challenge when I'm downscaling um, so you probably couldn't really see much then but I'm on an ultra wide so I could see a lot more than what you could see it's I'm downscaling it at the moment to um, 1920 by 1080 for YouTube, so I, I'm I can see more than, than what you can see because I'm on the ultra wide. 
So sorry if you couldn't see just then, but hopefully it's all right now. I use OBS, so I have got a preview window, which is one of the good things about OBS is that you've got preview window. You can actually, so if you are downscaling like I am, you can actually see what the recording will actually look like and you know if you're streaming you can see a preview when other platforms like shadow play and whatnot you can't see exactly what you're recording so you could just be recording a black screen um for all you know and uh because so a uh, setting or something hasn't gone right so that's why i like obs obs is just a really good platform for for recording and seeing sort of that preview seeing what you what you're actually recording yeah the fov is a bit weird on this i did try and reset the fov you can do a, a command on the launch options for this game um to change the fov but didn't really seem to have made much of a difference Fairfield, we're going via Fairfield here. It's not a very long line, this Woodhead um, Electric, uh, but it is it is quite an old DLC. Um, it's sort of in the time of Train Sim where they didn't really have the resources or technology that we have today. You know, if they build a pack for this game today. It's super long, there's lots of detail and whatnot. This is back in like, I don't know, this was probably before 2012. This was probably like 2008 or something. Maybe even earlier. Train Sim's been around for a long time. <laughs> but it is good that you can download these packs off the Steam shop. So if they do come on sale, you can pick them up. And you can still play them, even today, on, on the Train Sim 2021, because it's the same game it was, you know, 10 years ago. So the siding is coming up. in at a nice 15 miles an hour. So far, a really good introduction, actually, into this, uh, into this loco. Yeah, really good introduction. It didn't really give me a lot of info on how to control the train, but, um, if you're a train sim vet, you'll probably know how to anyway. We need to start braking heavily. Oh yeah, definitely, we need to start braking heavily. And class 08 over there, He's doing some shunting, I think. Right, where are we dropping him off? down here in this yellow space. 
But yeah, the reason I picked this uh, DLC up, if you could call it a DLC, it's more of an add-on. But the reason I picked it up is because of the locos. The locos look really interesting. Wow, look at this on the over here, the workshop. Wow, wow, wow. That's cool. Yeah, the locos are, are really interesting to me. They look completely different, and they use obviously the pantographs. And they're just really cool. So that's why I picked this pack up. We got him in. Yeah, I think they'll, they'll have him there. Okay, and I think that was the end of the scenario. So yeah, this was a quick, short one, to be honest. Uh, just an introduction to the, uh, the Woodhead Electric Railway and an introduction into the into the class 506. We'll be doing more of the scenarios, so look out for them in the future. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below to catch all of the content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.